G'day there, my name's Pat Williams from Cornstalk Software. Today I'm going to show you using Tico Business Modeler how you can send your web output to your web server. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is open our uh, knowledge base, which is uh, we use this for our own benefit to create manuals and our own knowledge base for TKO software. So I've just gone in here to policies and procedures and I'm now looking at all the documents that form our manual and um, so you can see that we actually use TKO ourselves to create our own manuals and also to create the, the knowledge base which you see on our website. So let's get started and we'll publish this so we go simply to publish and we'll click on web page, we'll select policies and procedures only because that's all we're going to upload and um, we're going to select in after build actions we're going to select that we want to uh, compile a search engine also we want to upload these files to our FTP HTP server and the final step is just making sure that the FTP configuration is, is correct so we come down here to configuration and settings go to FTP and you can see up here we've got the host name and directory now you need to find that out from your own uh, web host provider so you need to ask them uh, what is the, um, the host name what is a, a folder that we can uh, send uh, the output to and then once you have that information you just enter it in there this gives you some tips there to always make sure you've got a backslash on the end of it if you wanted to create a new folder in there you would just type in a different name so if I wanted to call the folder that I'm sending it to SS knowledge 2 for instance I just type in 2 there um, also you need to provide uh, find out off your provider your username and your password now this is usually case sensitive so um, be careful of that and also just tick that usually use FTP passive mode is the standard setting and then finally down the bottom here you'll see uh, this is the URL that you will use to access uh, the page so just leave that as that as the default there it usually relates to what you have up in the top here and uh, then you just go simply back up here and I'll just make sure those settings are right make sure FTP is set and I'm ready to go so I now go build and run just confirms that we're going to send it to the server we go OK so it's now building it okay as you can see it's building all the files now it's got to the end where it's ready to upload it to an FTP server and it's telling me that there's three mega files to upload do I want to continue and I'll say yes and it brings up the FTP uh, publisher and it says do you want to run a test first and I'll say yes I do this is this test is just confirming that it can get access to the server and it's dumping some sample files there to, just to make sure okay the test is complete and presents us with a test page just to type in to make sure the search engine is working on the server we'll just type in what it tells us to type which is uh, test one and I'll press go and as you can see it did find the test page so everything's okay there so we'll close that off and then it says do you, are you happy we go yes we are happy so yes okay so now it's going through and it's going to upload all those change files to our server so we'll just let that run it'll take a few minutes and at the end it'll pop up ready for us to use it okay that's now completed and as you can see it took two minutes and 38 seconds and we can now view the output so we'll just click here to see that it's all okay so click on okay so there's the published output that's up on our server now there's our knowledge base so it's all looking pretty good so we've just published from TKO up to a web server so this is now accessible by everyone um, just as long as they've got a web browser and an internet connection now what I'm going to show you now is that's one type of output which is okay for general browsers but there is another output that it does which is more suitable to an iPad and let me just show you this output and the way we find that all we have to do here is type in X get rid of this bit at the end here and this one is just a slightly different format it's a 
same content. The beauty of this one is that it's more suitable to an iPad because the other style um, it doesn't scroll. So if you have problems with the other style not scrolling in an iPad, uh, this is the best format. So all you do is type in x manualtoc.htm. So that's uh, just two different versions. So that's the one you'll need to access on an iPad. And I'll show you how you can do that in a moment. Knowledge base via TKO. So let's go and have a look at it. So we'll go to our website where we've published this to. And we'll go to resources because I know I've got the link in there for our knowledge base. And I'll just scroll down there. Oh, there it is there. There's our knowledge base link. So I'll just open that up. Okay, so there's the published website, and which has been created by TKO. So the beauty of this is that you've got um, not only the means to do a publish to print or an Adobe PDF format, but you can actually publish to your local network drive in a, in a web format, or you can upload this to a web server, which is what we're doing now. And the beauty of doing this is that you can then um, access it out of your office um, via your typical web browser. And in this case, I'm using an iPad. So um, TKO has a special format for the iPad. Because you'll notice with this one, it's slightly different to the standard uh, layout. Uh, with the iPad, it doesn't allow for um, scroll bars to appear. So this particular style uh, that we've got and I'm showing you now has uh, a version of being able to scroll down completely to the extent of the page whereas the other standard version that TKO comes with um, you can't do that with and you can see up in the top toolbar there you can get a closer look at that where it's got xmanualtoc.htm so that's the, uh, the one that it's linking to when TKO does a publish